I am Miss Satira and today we are going to look at page 30 in your positive textbook. The topic is wild weather. So weather means cuaca. So wild weather means cuaca yang very extreme. Okay. These are the things that we are going to do today. There are three things all together. First is uh, we will be learning a few vocabulary new words about weather and then we will do two exercises which are exercise two and exercise three so this one i'll explain a bit later on so exercise two we will write five sentences and exercise three we will answer three questions now first of all let's look at the new words that we will learn about weather okay now some of the words some of these words um you may have already known okay but let's just like go through uh, to recall what you know okay for example let's let's look at the first weather it is sunny i think you know what these means sunny means hari yang cerah very bright second rainy when it rains, it's called rainy. Okay. Third, it's windy. Windy means hari yang berangin. I'm not sure why the video isn't working here. But windy means berangin, okay? Next, you have snowy. Uh, when the snow is here, so you call it snowy. And last one, you have cloudy. Cloudy means uh, mendung. Next, we have stormy. So what is stormy? Okay, this is one of the examples of stormy. Stormy means reboot. Then, dam. Okay, dam ni uh, maksudnya lemba. So like after rain, right? When the rain stops and the streets are still very, not, they're not dry yet. So kita panggil dam, lemba. And then we have icy. See, it's very slippery. Sangat licin. We call it icy. Next, you have foggy. Foggy means berkabus. See, you can't see anything here. Okay, so that one you call foggy. And then you have warm weather. Okay, so like warm, like it's not too hot. Quite okay. Next, you have wet okay so this one is also after rain or whatever so it's still wet so you play with uh water you play in the rain you get wet next dry weather so when it gets too hot and it, everything is dry your plants are dead the soil becomes like this soil means tanah okay so tanah jadi macam ni next you have thunder and lightning thunder means guru lightning means Next, you have blizzard. Okay, so this is what happens in the movie Frozen. See, uh, in Malay, it's called uh, Reboot Salji. Then, when it's too hot, you call it's called a heat wave. Okay, it gets too hot. In Malay, it's called Gelombang Haba. And then last one, you have hailstones or hailstorm can't really see there it's an M hailstorm this one is actually hujan air batu okay nampak macam snow right but it's like kalau snow dia tak bounce macam tu tau this one is like keras so it bounce okay so those are the 16 uh, words that we are focusing on today dah settle okay I hope you understand if you don't then you can ask me after this Okay, let's do uh, the second exercise. Sentence construction. Bina ayat. Okay, about six cities. Cities mean bandar. Okay, so about six places. Okay, so these places are given. Okay, this is in your um, textbook. Okay, so the question asks, what's the weather like in... Okay, cuaca macam mana in 
these places. Okay, and which one? How is it? Okay, there is an example given in your textbook, so we'll go through. For example, this is in London. Okay, so this is how you answer a um, question when people ask you about the weather. So you say, in London, okay, so in, then you write down the place, in London, it's upper. Okay, so the first part is one, you look at the temperature, suhu, okay, 5 degrees. So 5 degrees, is it hot or warm or cold? Okay, so you choose one. So 5 degrees um, is quite cold. So, so you write down, it's cold and, okay, now you write the weather block. Okay, look at the symbol. You don't know what that is, but look at the picture. So you cannot see things very well. Okay, so this is called foggy. Okay, so that's it. In London, it's cold and foggy. Okay, so the answer is here in the picture. So you look at the temperature and the weather. Okay, now. Cold is um, the temperature and foggy is the weather. So there are two things that you need to put in your sentence. Two things, okay? You cannot just say in London it's cold, it's, in London it's foggy sahaja. No, I want you to write down both things. Okay? Now this is very simple. It's cold and foggy. If it's, um, let's say, 38 degrees. Okay, so that means it's very hot. So you write down. In London, it's hot and apudila. Okay. Now, the next example is okay, this is <clears throat> one of the ways to answer. Now, there are two ways actually. This is number one, this is number two. Okay, after this, I explain why. Okay, so same thing. Where is it? Uh, where is this place? It's in London. So, you write down somewhere you got in London, it's 5 degrees, very cold. So you write down, it's cold. And so you imagine, uh, di bukan foggy, it's something else. Let's say it's this one. Okay, so what is this called tadi? Kilat and guru. Okay, so it's called lightning and, sorry, thunder and lightning. So you write down, there is thunder and lightning. Okay, sama macam tadi, but this time, we use there is. Alright. <clears throat> so the temperature is there. 5 degree, it's cold. And then the weather is also there. Thunder and lightning. Okay. Then what's the difference? Okay. The difference is, for this part, contoh, the first sentence study, in London, it's cold and foggy. Why can we use like this? Kenapa ayat kedua ni, we cannot use like this. We cannot just say it's cold and thunder and lightning. Okay, the reason is because uh, foggy is an adjective. Kata sifat. Sama macam temperature. So, bolehlah combine. It's cold and foggy. Ya, uh, ya sejuk dan berkabus. Okay, it's adjective. However, if it's not adjective, see this on thunder and lightning. Kalau you translate right, in Malay, uh, you say, uh, cuaca is, ia sangat sejuk dan, ia sangat sejuk dan, uh, guruh dan kilat. So, salah lah kan? Sebenarnya, in, like, in Malay, you have to say, cuaca sangat sejuk dan, ada ataupun terdapat, uh, guruh dan kilat. So, same thing. This one. Okay, so kenapa? Bezanya because it's a noun. Thunder and lightning is a noun. Kata nama. So you cannot say it's cold and thunder and lightning. No. Okay, so it's a noun. Kata nama. You have to use there is. Okay, in London it's cold and there is thunder and lightning. Okay, so if it's adjective, boleh sambung je ayat. It's cold and foggy. If it's not adjective, then you can letak there is. It's cold and there is. Apa? Okay. 
So I want you to do this one for all uh, six places. This one. So the first one tadi, uh, London tadi, dah ada contoh. So I want you to do the other five. In Athens, it's uh, 27 degrees. Is it hot, warm or cold? What is it? And look at the uh, weather. Apa tu? Cuaca tu macam tu. Okay, I'm not telling you. You need to figure out. Okay, and write down the sentence. Ikut the formula tadi. Okay. Okay, settle. Exercise 2. Now, exercise 3. This one is also quite easy, very simple. Um, there are only three questions. Okay, let's look at the question. It says, in which city is there a heat wave? Dekat uh, tempat mana yang ada heat wave. Apa tu heat wave tadi dia cakap? Gelombang haba. So, dekat mana? Okay, the number two. In which city could you hear thunder and see lightning? Okay, and third. In which city could you get caught in a blizzard? Ah, uh, putu blizzard tadi teacher dah cakap juga. Okay, so mana nak dapat jawapan ni? Dekat tadi lah. The six cities. Okay, so the six places. Um, in which city is there a heat wave? So heat wave means um, it must be somewhere very hot. Okay, so in all these six uh, cities, which is the hottest? Yang paling panas. Okay, so you write down lah. The answer, let's say if it's Athens, so you write down Athens. Okay, very easy. Just write down uh, the name of the city. And you are done. So your to-do task is uh, exercise 2 and 3. So you write this, you write your answers in your notebook and you will be done for today. If you have any question, macam biasa, you can ask me here or on Telegram. That's all from me. Thank you.